Good afternoon, everybody. It's still September 9th here today. Uh, we're still cracking on uh, Durham up north at the uh, North Farm. And I wanted to show you, uh, this is obviously Ernie 2.0. You've already seen him before. And we have a brand spanking new Akron GTT5010 on this puppy. So big thanks to Akron again. They, uh, they brought us out another bagger this year to use. And we already threw a bag on it. And in fact, we already made a bag. So, yeah. First bag of the season, first bag of the season. We always like to droop bags over hills. That's what we like to do. Well, it didn't quite go as planned because we overstretched this bag by like quite a bit. We didn't have any brakes on Ernie and we didn't have the brake applied well, we had a little bit of brake applied to the Akron, but not a lot. Let me come over here, I'll show you what I'm Basically, we're just trying to brush the rust off of making grain bags. So we started up on top of this hill, no big deal. The hill, you can't tell, but the hill actually comes down to here like this. Kind of goes up. The top of the hill is at where the bagger is, and then it starts going back down that way. No big deal. So we have our little measuring ruler that comes with these high-tech bags. This is 16.5 is max stretch from this mark to this mark. It comes at 15. 15 is kind of, um, I think 15 is doesn't have very much stretch on it. But anyways, 16.5 is the max stretch for the grain bag. Now, it does make a big difference of where this stretch mark is. This is where it's supposed to be. The top of the bag is where it's supposed to be. We, we put the bag on right. So we're measuring this like this. We're like, oh boy, it's too much. Started back here. We're holding the back end of the bag because it has to roll over because we just fold it up on the back. We don't zip it up. We don't tape it up. We, we roll it up underneath each other. And then we stand on it. We'll do videos of this yet to come. Don't worry, I'm just explaining what we did. And then the bag folds over itself, no big deal with grain. And then it starts to push the tractor. But I was at this point and I'm like, come on, Ernie. Come on, I didn't have any brakes applied. I'm like, come on, early, start rolling. Start rolling, I'm watching it bulge. I'm like, start rolling! And I was gonna run the jump in the old Ernie to put it in gear to assist it. Because there's, the, when you're building a grain bag, it will actually push the tractor. Well, we overstretched it, long story short, by a lot. We put our ruler on here, and it doesn't even, yeah, we're way, way, way overstretched. We're probably like a 17, 18 inch stretch on this bad boy. So, no big deal. As long as, you know, deer don't walk on it, which is gonna happen, it shouldn't burst. We've had grain bags burst. We've had it happen. They'll rupture and she'll go all the way down the side. Boom, major, major cleanup mode. Anyways, that's my bad. I guess I should've got a little Ernie in gear and pulled them forward so we didn't put so much stretch on, but be that as it is, we're cut this bag, we rolled it up, and we're gonna leave it. We're gonna come back. I have already called Akron. They're bringing us a bag extractor to the rescue, and uh, we'll pick this bag up, and we'll probably dump it back into the other bag. Just a waste of a bag. Now, there isn't very much bag here. It's probably like $200 worth of bag, but a thousand dollars worth of messing around in time. Anyways, that is what it is. That's our test bag. Round two. <laughs> oh man, so let's just talk about this Akron uh, beggar here. So they've changed things up again from the, even the last one we had last year. Last one we had last year actually had a shear bolt, not a shear bolt, had a safety bolt in here to lock this thing up. And uh, this one does not have it. It's just hydraulic and it's built way beef here. Sorry about this bag. Actual solid steel here. That's awesome. Again, way beefier. That's the first thing Donovan said too when he saw it. He's like, holy cow, they made this thing way beefier, which is awesome. Not nearly as flimsy. This isn't. This is pipe. But this is solid steel. So, super happy about that. We got our, uh, this is for our sample. You can actually be bucketing. Taking samples. Check this out. This is maybe a little tight. Oh, okay, I have to loosen that off. See? 
so we can be taking samples of what's going in the bag so then technically we don't have to probe them remember last year we probed the bags maybe the last year this one had maybe we had one of the maybe we had this last year too i didn't even notice um anyways we got lights fancy dancy led lights but we got no way to plug them in ernie doesn't have the power for them so we got our candlesticks our original candlesticks <laughs> oh man so anyway we got our hydraulic on our hitch which is handy i'd actually prefer to keep it a bit tipped up in case you get a rain you can just open up your rain door here and as long as it's tipped up a little bit all the rain will run out and not into your grain bag that's probably pretty good lock off your hydraulic so this is the brake i'm talking about you can apply your brake There you go. Here's our little ruler. Here's our measuring tape. That comes with your bags. Here's our brakes, calipers. There we go. This. Do not forget to release your brake pressure and release it with this before you pull them on transport or you'll heat your brakes up. Ask us how we know. Ask us how we know. All right. So we're going to drop another bag right here. We're a little short staffed. Donald right now is working on a different combine. Normally we like three people to start a bag. One person is dumping the grain cart. One person is adjusting the brakes. And the other guy is holding the back of the bag to make sure it doesn't bulge out and then we have grain. Remember last year with the oats? So we're trying not to, not to do that again. So we're gonna pull this all the way out to here. Take it out maybe 10 feet. Roll it up underneath itself and then stand on it right here on top of the roll. And then he's gonna start dumping and the grain's gonna come out. And I'm just gonna stay standing on this roll and try and hold this whole thing. And then once it falls onto the screen, it's gonna go over top, we're off for the races. Then I'll start working on the brakes. All right, let's get cracking here. All right, so we're a little short-handed here, but we're gonna get her done. I'm gonna try and hold all this stuff. He's just gonna dump it. The brake is not on yet, that's fine. Don't get buried, Mike. It'd be a sucky situation. Oh, oh. All right. Okay, I can't do that. I can't. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Just there right now. All right. Okay. We got no brake pressure. Something's not right under here. If that's where that strap is supposed to be. A little too late now. It's gotta be coming up in here. Okay, he's just dumping slow right now. Most of that's filled up with air. I gotta tell him to open it up to two. Start your grain bag where everybody can see them. <laughs> All right, 
gonna want to start rolling pretty soon. It better start rolling pretty soon. There it is, she's going, she's rolling. That's what I like to see. All right. Apply just a little bit of brake. I gotta go in and steer Ernie. It's hard to hold it. Ah! 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 Okay, we're gonna hold it right to there. Perfect. 15 inch. We're just we're just putting a little stretch on it. That's awesome. That's what I like to see. A little bit more brake. Beauty. Beauty. starts going downhill we have to keep applying a little bit more brake pressure to keep the bag perfect otherwise we're gonna get humpty bumpy bumpies in our bag which isn't the end of the world but if your green was tough and you have air pockets in it then it can mold like chickpeas will mold in the air pocket this stuff's dry so I'm not too worried about it but he must both be empty making farmer of the year we're not making farmer of the year anymore we blew it we blew it all right we're gonna hyperlapse this you're gonna see us running around with chickens with the head chopped off hopefully we'll just do it once we try not to put a bag on twice it's not nearly as fun Alright, we're ready. So we just rolled it up underneath itself and we're gonna go that direction. I just gotta go move my combine. Okay, we're gonna just, we're going to pick this back. Right there. Lock this. Lock this one. Brakes off. 
gonna go turn the PTO on. Oh, Ernie's getting dusty. break on that. We're going to start going downhill. Where are we sitting? 15 and a half? Yep. We're into the red. Okay, you watch that. I'll, I'll steer. Oh, Ernie uh, likes to drift. There's a side hill pulling Ernie. He likes to drift. Oh, I guess he's empty. All right then. Okay, guys. We'll maybe do some more video in here in a little bit, but uh, that was put bag on. It didn't even pop up. I think we have it half right. And you can even dump with the combine. Yeah, we don't have enough stretch on our bag. That is for sure. But we'll get her. We'll get it. So I'm gonna steal or steer Ernie there. Will, hop in Ernie. He's he's drifting, man. He's drifting. I can see it from here. No one's watching Ernie. Ernie's going on a vacation. He's taking off. We're gonna have S bags. <laughs> Someone drive Ernie. Never mind. Don't even worry about him. He's fine. He's just. He's gonna tour. No one can tell that Ernie's taking off. Unbelievable. Oh well. I guess there's worse things. I can't think of any right now, but I'm pretty sure I guess there is worse things. Alright guys, I'll catch you on the flipper. <laughs> 